Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. I'm changing out the blades on my riding lawnmower. Figured I'd make a video. I picked up these blades on Amazon. They had pretty good reviews. I think they're like $20. So here's my riding lawnmower. I've got a floor jack and I jacked up the one side of the tractor. I've got an in gear parking brake set. I don't want this thing rolling on top of me. Ignition's off. Blade is disengaged. Now I'm using a 2x4 to jam up that blade so I can twist off the bolt. And this bolt was hard to come off. I had a time with it. I remember, I'm not a professional at this, so I don't use this as instruction. This is like my first time in five years since I've changed out a lawnmower blade. The important thing is when you get that blade off, you got to know which way it was on. Now you can tell by the marks there that was the spindle side and you can tell by the marks there that's the bolt and washer because you got to figure out which way the sharp edge was spinning and pointing when it was on the tractor. So you got to figure out where the sharp edge is and that there's my sharp edge. When I install my new blade I want the sharp edge pointing the same way. And there's the spindle slides right into them grooves right there. Now if you don't get those seated properly, your blade's not going to work and it's not going to spin and you'll have problems. There's your spindle underneath your moving deck. You need to make sure that blade is seated properly on that spindle and that cutout is the correct one on your new blade. As you can see, I'm feeling it, trying to get it seated. Once I get it seated, then I'll tighten down the bolt. And once you get these blades tightened down, your new blades tightened down, give that blade a complete spin to make sure your deck isn't deformed or dented. Make sure you have clearance for these new blades. Make sure the two blades don't collide with one another. Now you got to torque these down. I looked it up and I found torque ranges from 35 foot-pounds to 50 foot-pounds. So I'm torquing this thing to 50 foot-pounds. In reality, it looks like I really went to like 55 foot-pounds. Okay, I got the other side jacked up. I'm putting a box wrench on my ratchet to give me added leverage to twist this thing off. And this side came off fairly easily. Same thing here, realize which what direction the blade is turning, which way the sharpened edge is supposed to be pointing. Go ahead and remove the old blade. Make sure when you get this, the new one out there, you get it aligned properly on that spindle. Here I'm torquing this thing down. Now the next trick to it, once I get it all down off the jack and out of the way, I'm going to start the engine up, and then when I engage the blade, I'm going to do it as slow as possible, listening for any damage or banging. You want to make sure it's done right. And there you go. It looks like I did a good job. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.